hits and they ate meat. Of course, we got a noisy tiller run, so we let her uh, garden over here where our potatoes and carrots and sweet potatoes are get out of hand, and we're going to run the tiller down here and clean it up. Okay, we got it tilled between the rows. Now we do have a patch at the end and down the side, but we'll get the tractor and till that. But now we're gonna come in and we're gonna weed these. Being they're going to, they've flowered and some's going to seed, we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw them in a bushel basket and take them out of the, the garden because we don't need any extra seeds in here for sure. The carrots are doing pretty good amongst the weeds. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show uh, a little trick with these sweet potatoes too while we do this and we'll have our uh, guard dog here uh, giving us a hand okay i've cleaned up most of the grass down these rows and now what we're going to do we'll show you a little trick here now we're trying to keep these trained over towards this side for now so they don't get over in the carrots later on we won't care but what she's doing is she's putting some dirt on these runners and now these runners will actually, where they root in, they'll make sweet potatoes. So by taking these and covering them, just with the, then take a whole lot of dirt, uh, what's going to end up happening is you're going to have a whole lot bigger crop. Now these will set potatoes further out as they root in, but getting them to root in right from the start like this, the reason it increases it so much is because it'll start forming its sweet potatoes as, as soon as the uh, main plant where you planted start. So you'll have a lot more bigger ones instead of a lot of smaller ones. Now, um, also, this will end up feeding the plant from both directions this gives it extra source for nutrients and water and stuff like that so your plant will be healthier and you'll see these after a while now you can see these have really done good uh since they've been put out and i'm guessing it's been about a month ago that we uh set our slips now we got some more that we're going to finish out these rows we'll have to uh weed those up but uh we'll get those other slips but we're not going to do it today possibly tomorrow because it's supposed to be uh overcast day and that'll give them a better chance of survival it's may 24th i finally got back to this uh project uh we're weeding up the the where we had to put these in but we've got as you can see uh these are where we cut our slips from uh like say if you just We'll start water them again. They'll grow some more and this should be enough to complete this this patch maybe with some extras Looks like we got all these sweet potatoes in the ground we got the sprinklers on them. It's supposed to be uh, Cloudy partly cloudy But it definitely ain't but it looks like uh, maybe a thunderstorm gonna come in a little while uh, later, but we had enough slips in and a few extras, but we we just finished out our rows. Uh, got them kind of weeded up a little bit. And, uh, of course, we'll water our carrots and, and these potatoes here, which I don't really care to water the potatoes because we've got to dig these. But uh, we've tilled up where we took the potatoes out, and we've actually formed our rows. We're going to put some zipper cream peas in here and got our uh, German butter balls all uh, healed up and they could use some water so uh, hopefully everything will work out well, I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more of course hit that subscribe hit the bell and select all so you'll be sure to be notified and give it a big thumbs up and share this video enjoy that gardening experience